Hello and welcome to the next episode of the full stack blog application tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to build the auth user method of our authentication microservice. The auth user method gets a token and returns the user which is authenticated with this token. But before we start coding, I want to say big thanks to every new subscriber. My channel got about 15 new subscribers during the last 24 hours, which is amazing. So thanks to everyone. Now let's start coding. Open up the proto directory and within it open up the services.proto file. Now in our auth service add another method which is called auth user and it takes an auth user request and it returns an auth user response. Of course, we need to define these two messages. So we type message of user request. And it simply contains the JSON web token. And the second message is of user response. And actually, the of user response contains the same fields as our user struct does. So we can open up global and user.go and here we see our user has the fields id, username, email and password. So now we can switch back to the services.proto file and type string id and string username, string email. So as you can see, we send every field in our user struct except the password field. Because sending the password field would be insecure and we don't need it. Alright, so now let's compile the code. So open up the terminal. Change your working directory to proto. And now type proto c services dot proto and provide the flag go underscore out equals plugins equals grpc column dot and hit enter. Now we can close the terminal and close the services.proto file, the user.go file. And now we can see that there's an error because we haven't implemented the off user method. So let's do so. We add a new function to our auth server, which is called auth user, and it takes a context which we are going to omit, and a request which is a pointer to proto dot auth user request, and I see I made a typo here, so let's go back to the services of proto file and fix the typo. And again compile the file. All right. And this method returns a pointer to proto dot of user response and of course an error. Now we can implement this method. First of all let's get the token from the request. So type token equals in dot get token. As you can see in our user.go file token contains a data field and this data field contains a string which is the encoded user. So now we have to decrypt the token to get this data field. And then we have to decode the string into a user. Of course, we could just decrypt the token in this function now. But later in the tutorial, we will have many endpoints which get a token. So we're going to define a new function in our global package. So open up user.go. And in the user.go file, we're going to define a new function called user from token. And it's exported. 
and this function takes a parameter called token of type string and it returns a user. So in the user from token function we get a token and we want to return the user which is authenticated with this token. So first of all we have to initialize our claims variable with a new instance of JSON Web Token dot map claims. Now we can call JSON Web Token dot parse with claims. And the first argument is our token. The second argument is our claims variable. And the third argument is a function which takes in one parameter called token and it's of type pointer to JSON Web Token dot token and it returns an interface and an error. And in this function we simply have to return our JSON Web Token secret and nil as an error. By calling this function we decode our token into the claims variable. So if we now want to get the data field of our claims variable, we can say claims and we want the data field. And this expression is of type interface, so we have to convert it to a string like that. And with this expression, we can now call json.unmarshal and this is our data. But we have to convert it to a byte array. And the second argument, we need a pointer to the variable where the result should be stored. So let's create a new variable called result of type user. And pass a pointer to result as argument. Then we can simply return result and our function is complete. Again, let's add a comment that says user from token returns the user which is authenticated with this token. Alright, so now we can close the user.go file and in our off user function we can now simply call global user from token and pass our token as argument. The result we want to store in a new variable called user. And then we can simply return a pointer to proto dot off user response and the id is user dot id but as you can see user dot id is of type primitive.object.id but in our off user response the ID has a type of string. To convert the ID to a string we have to call the hex function. As you can see the hex function converts the ID to a string. Then we can provide a username which is user.username and the email which is user.email. And as error we want to return nil. That's it for the off user function. Again, we're going to write test cases, so click into the name of the function, do a right click and click on go generate unit tests for function. Then scroll down until you reach the new function. Again, delete the function body. So now we need a token which we can decode and check if the result is correct. So to get a token, I'm going to modify the login test. So instead of underscore, I'm going to type press here. And after the if, I will call test.error res.getToken. Of course, this is useless for our test case, but it just helps us get the token. So we're going to run this test, and of course it will fail. And here we have the JSON Web Token. So copy it. And then remove this line 
and also replace the res with an underscore. And now we can scroll down. And paste our token. And now we can create a new instance of our server. We can call server dot user and the context will be context dot background. And we also provide a request which is a pointer to proto dot user requests. And this token we're going to use this huge string. So paste it here. And as you can see, the off user function returns a point to proto.off user response, then error. So we want to store these values in new variables called res and error. And again, if the error doesn't equal nil, we want to the test to fail. And we just say an error was returned. And then we want to test to fail and print out the res. So now let's run the test and see what our res looks like. As you can see, this is our res variable. So we can now assume that our response variable always looks like that. So if the res.getID doesn't equal this string, or if res.get username doesn't equal car or if res dot get email doesn't equal test at gmail.com we want the test to fail and just say wrong result returned and also append the result. Alright, so we can now run our test case and hope that everything works. As you can see, everything worked perfectly and our off user method is done. When editing the last episode, I saw something we could improve in our signup method. So scroll up to the signup method, which is here. And instead of using this variable, we can remove the variable and just say server of server and now we have omitted one variable. As you can see our authentication is fully implemented on the back end now and in the next episode we're going to start with the front end. We're going to create the progressive web app and then we're going to create the authentication pages like login page, sign up page and we're going to connect them to our back end. So thanks for watching, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, comment and see you next time.